Hey, what's going on everyone? Greg here. And Apple has a problem on their hands. Now, we have seen chip shortages affecting recent products like the M2 MacBook Pro and the M2 MacBook Air. And we've even heard that the iPhone 14 will be affected by these chip shortages with the regular iPhone 14 series sticking with the A15 chip, while only the iPhone 14 Pro will be getting the new A16 chip. Well, if you thought that news was troubling, we may be in for an even bigger letdown with the new Apple Watch Series 8. And it could be one of the biggest disappointing updates we've seen from Apple in quite some time. All right, so what am I talking about here? Well, let's go back to the Apple Watch Series 7 first to understand what is so wrong with the rumors of the Series 8. So last year when Apple introduced the Series 7, people were disappointed by the lack of a significant redesign. But one silver lining with the Series 7 was that it did now come with a bigger 45 and 41 millimeter display. Despite this screen size update, people were still upset overall with the lack of internal changes for this watch, especially with Apple using the same exact specifications for the S6 chip with the new S7 chip. Basically, the S7 chip was the S7 chip in name only, and the Apple Watch Series 7 had the same exact speed as last year's Series 6. However, this was kind of expected, especially after the cadence of Apple Watch's processor upgrades because we saw the same thing happen from the Series 4 to the Series 5. Both watches featured the same chip with the same processor speed, and when the Series 6 was announced, it received the new chip with the new faster processor. So it was almost expected that if the Series 7 didn't get a new chip this year, that the Series 8 would be the one to receive the speed bump for next year. At least that was the predicted pattern of the Apple Watch updates going forward. Enter Mark Gurman, who is now saying that the Series 8 will feature the same exact specifications as the Series 7, which had the same exact specifications again as the Series 6. This means that the next Apple Watch update will receive no performance upgrades, and this would mean that the Apple Watch has not received a speed boost for two years in a row. And there's just no way around it. This is really disappointing news for users who skipped the Series 7 last year due to a lack of perceived internal updates and were planning on purchasing a Series 8 for this year, hoping that Apple would have built up enough changes overall for a more attractive package. So why is this happening? Why is Apple choosing to not upgrade the Apple Watch with a speed upgrade for a second year in a row? Now, I know people don't like to give Apple a pass, and I'm sure reviews this year will be equally harsh if this lack of a speed upgrade turn out to be true. But I believe this is not neglect on Apple's part. Uh, they want to update the Apple Watch. They want to give it a faster processor, but I don't think they're able to because of the chip shortage. We've seen this firsthand now with Apple shipping the M2 MacBook Pro with multiple configurations of higher memory tiers being delayed for months and Apple not being able to release the MacBook Pro and MacBook Air at the same time. It's also partly why I believe we have not seen the announcement of a new M2 Mac Mini or M2 iMac yet, because Apple does not have enough new M2 chips available to be placed in this many computers. So Apple is not purposely neglecting the Apple Watch. It's likely they have to pick and choose which products to focus on for new speed upgrades, and when you really think about it, it's not like additional speed or performance is critical to the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch needs to be fast enough to run the software and load apps. And while more speed is always great, and while it can enable new features, it is just not critical on the watch. And listen, I get it. You're probably watching this now and thinking, why would I buy this Series A Apple Watch, which hasn't received a processor upgrade in two years? Because you just know that even if the speed is fine and the watch works well, in the back of your mind, you will be constantly thinking that your watch is going to be on the chopping block a little bit faster because a watchOS update for this Apple Watch is going to eventually not work for it. And when it's using a processor that is two years old at this point, that means it is going to be on the chopping block for that watchOS update the same year that the Series 6 is, which came out two years ago. So in the back of your mind, you're probably thinking, this is not a good value. This is not a watch that is going to last the test of time. I mean, look at the Series 3. That thing is not getting watchOS 9, and that is technically only one processor generation behind the current Apple Watch SE. It's something I'm thinking about right now, and I'm sure you're thinking about it as you're watching this video. So I actually wanna know from you. Let me know in the comments below, does the Apple Watch Series 8 not getting a processor upgrade change whether or not you are planning on purchasing one. 
I feel like the answer is going to be a big yes, but I really want to know what kind of upgrades Apple could include in this year's watch that would change your opinion if it's not getting a speed boost. Because the only other upgrades that are rumored for this year on the Series 8 could be something like the body temperature sensor for reading your internal body temperature, duh, and then the possibility of maybe it receiving a new flattery design or what I would kind of want to see on the Series 8 are some even newer features. Uh, I kind of think like, Touch ID on the Apple Watch would be a great new additional feature, especially considering how much more data and how much more things we are now accessing on our watch. I mean, you can literally do payments from your watch and currently all you have to do right now is double click on the side button. There is no sort of authentication with touch ID or even a passcode. So I would like to see some sort of more secure interaction with the Apple Watch. And then you could also use uh, touch ID on the watch maybe to do other things like unlock your phone, unlock your Mac, all those other things that you currently do just by wearing the Apple Watch, but just have an additional secondary step for secure access. Or perhaps the big upgrade this year is something like the new Rugged Edition, which would be a more durable version of the Apple Watch, and maybe that even has exclusive features like longer battery life. Now, I don't want to end this video on bad news because while the Series 8 may turn out to be disappointing, I think there's actually really good news out right now regarding the Apple Watch SE model, the new one coming in 2022. And that is because of the lack of processor upgrades going into the Series 8. Well, it may turn out that the new Apple Watch SE will get the same exact S8 chip as the Series 8, meaning that both watches will run exactly the same performance-wise and will be supported for the same number of years with watchOS updates. I mean, that would be a pretty enticing feature for the Apple Watch SE. It retails for a lower price than the Series 8 and comes with the same exact chipset, so it wouldn't really feel like too big of a downgrade to go for that cheaper model, and this would be the first time in Apple Watch history that the current cheaper SE model would ship with the same exact processor as the flagship model. Now, the downside for the SE, according to German, is that it would still feature the same design as the Series 4, meaning it would have the smaller 40 and 44 millimeter displays, although I don't think that's that big of a downgrade. I like the new larger display on the Series 7, but if I could get the Apple Watch for $120 cheaper with the same internals and sacrifice a little bit on the display size, well, I think that would be a pretty smart purchasing decision, especially if the new Apple Watch SE has the same always-on display as the Series 8. It would be really tempting and it might be my recommendation for an Apple Watch going into 2022, but either way, the 2022 lineup for the Apple Watch may have more options than ever with the new Series 8, the new Extreme Sports edition of the Series 8, and of course a refined Apple Watch SE model with more modern specs. But yeah, let me know what you think about these disappointing Series 8 rumors in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you wanna see more, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.